What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys. I actually was sitting at work this week and I had a thought. I have a shit ton of digital purchases, digital video games on my PlayStation, on my Xbox. A lot of games I don't even play. And I was wondering what's going to happen to those games. Will they just sit there and rot digitally through time for the rest of my life? Will there ever be a way for me to trade those back in, for me to give them away, for me to sell them? And while the answer is probably a stiff no, I still thought of the possibilities of what could happen if Sony or Microsoft allowed a third party marketplace to be created for people who do not want these games anymore in their systems. I'm sure you guys have done it before. You went out and bought a game because you heard it hyped up, people were excited about it, you bought it and it just wasn't your cup of tea. Well for me, I have over 300 games just on my PS4. And out of that number, <laughs> there's at least 25 to 30 games I've yet to even boot up. But the ones I have played, there's probably about 70 or 80 games that I'll probably never play again, just, just based on my first impressions of the title. I'm not saying that the game is necessarily bad, but nobody is going to like every single game. Sometimes it just doesn't suit your taste. And so I was wondering what would happen if Microsoft, Sony, or Nintendo allowed a user marketplace kind of like what you see in MMOs. In MMOs you might find unique items and treasure and in a lot of them you're able to sell that for in-game currency to other players who could use that that material, that equipment, those weapons and that armor. And so my mind immediately went to the one single MMO that I spent the most time on which is Silk Road Online. Please don't play it. It's very old. It probably looks fantastic now. But we're talking 20 years ago, 15 years ago when I was playing this game. And in, in these games, you can go to uh, like these marketplaces and you have items in your inventory and you can put them in the marketplace. You can title them and you can put your own price up there and people would bid for them. And whoever would buy them, you know, if a person just came and had the asking price on them, they could just buy that item, boom, and you get the money transferred right into your, your game's digital account, your character's account. I'm wondering if that could be a, a potential future uh, instead of this this physical used games thing that we have going on now. I wonder if it's possible for GameStop to create uh, maybe this deal with Microsoft and Sony where they come in as a third party, uh, maybe an app on the PlayStation Network and on the Xbox Live service that allows you to submit your your digital games that you've played that you've played more than a week or more than a few days and submit them for a particular price and maybe maybe the prices would be ubiquitous across the consoles all the all these games at this certain age are all this price or how they would do it but i think it would be beneficial to everybody uh if it's a digital purchase and you played a digital game maybe they could turn that into digital currency that you have to use back in playstation network or on Xbox Live. And I think that something like that could work. Of course if Sony and Microsoft did that, that would drive down dramatically their new game purchases. And for the most part, people looking to buy new games would always go to the marketplace. So I see that issue. I see that a lot of people probably would say, no, 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 they'll never do that. But never say never. We've seen a lot of crazy things happen in the gaming world over the last few years. So I will never say never to anything. But for me, that's a very tangible idea that Sony or Microsoft would allow a third party or maybe even their own company to create a new application that allows you to submit maybe a certain amount of games every month, maybe three or four games per month that you don't want anymore, that you could get in-game currency or digital currency that goes right back to your PlayStation Store or your Xbox Live account and you're able to go back and purchase things through the store. I think that would be a great way for you to recycle the games that you don't want to play. Uh, the games that you don't ever want to start up again. Maybe there's a person out there waiting to play the Order 1886 and you can trade them that game for $3 and you'll have it out of your library and that person, that one person on earth who wants to play that game will be able to play it at a discount. You guys let me know what you think about this. Is there any way that we could make that work? Is there any way that you could see a digital game being resold by the purchaser on PlayStation Network, on Xbox Live, through a, a third-party application or even through an application created by Sony or Microsoft. I think it could work, especially if a, a small portion of every purchase went back to them 
you know, if it's if it's a third party anyway. A third party is going to want a small portion of each sale, but if Sony and Microsoft were doing it, they probably wouldn't because the money would go directly back to their PlayStation account or to the Xbox account, which has to be used uh, on their, their particular services. So I think for them it would actually work out. You guys let me know what you think. I know this is kind of a crazy, far out, kind of out of left field idea, but I feel like there's probably a way that that could actually work instead of making people keep and own and forever have games that they just did not want after purchasing. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, having a great week, uh, hanging out with your family, doing whatever it is that you do that makes you feel good. If you'd like to support my channel, please give a thumbs up and show support that way. You can also support me through my Patreon link if you guys would like to support my channel and my future endeavors. There is a link in the description. Thank you guys for swinging through. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.